In today's video, I'll show you how to set up parental controls on your TP-Link router. If you want to limit screen time, block inappropriate websites, or schedule internet usage for your kids, you are in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up parental controls easily in just a few minutes. So let's get started. First, we need to install the TP-Link Tether app on your smartphone. Go to the Play Store on your phone. Search for TP-Link Tether and download the official app by TP-Link. Once the app is installed, open it to continue. When you open the Tether app for the first time, you will be asked to log in or create an account. If you already have a TP-Link account, just sign in with your email and password. If not, you can quickly create one using your email ID. Now, let's connect your TP-Link router to the app. Make sure your phone is connected to the TP-Link Wi-Fi network. In the Tether app, select your router from the device list. Then, enter your router's admin password. You can find it on the sticker under the router if you haven't changed it. Now that your router is connected, let's set up parental controls. In the Tether app home screen, tap Family at the bottom. Tap the plus button to create a new profile. Now, enter a name for the profile, like your child's name. Then, select your child's age. Next, we need to assign your child's devices to this profile, so that the rules apply to them. The app will show a list of devices connected to your Wi-Fi. Select the child's phone, tablet, or computer from the list. TP-Link recommends disabling MAC address randomization on your child's device. If this setting is enabled, the device changes its MAC address periodically, making it difficult for the router to track and apply parental control rules consistently. To ensure parental controls function correctly, disable MAC address randomization on your child's device by following the steps. On your child's device, open Wi-Fi settings. Tap on your home Wi-Fi network. Navigate to advanced settings. Here, locate the MAC address type option and switch it from randomized MAC to device MAC. This ensures that the router consistently recognizes the device and applies parental control settings correctly. Once done, go back to Tether app. Select your child's device from the list and tap Done to confirm the selection. Now that we have created a profile and assigned your child's devices, let's configure the parental control settings. First, tap Block Websites. This feature works like a blacklist. The websites you enter here will be blocked. For example, if you don't want your child to access Facebook, type facebook.com and tap Save. Instead of blocking websites one by one, if you want to block entire categories of sites, select the Web Filter option. You'll see categories like mature content, gambling, streaming and media, social media, online shopping, etc. Select the categories you want to block and tap Save. This automatically restricts all sites that fall under the selected categories. To ensure your child doesn't use the internet late at night, you can set up bedtime restrictions. Here. Set the start and end time for when the internet should be disabled. For example, you can block the internet from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. every day. Your child won't be able to use the internet during these hours. The time limits feature lets you control how many hours per day your child can access the internet. Tap time limits. Then set the daily usage limit based on your preference. For example, you can allow 3 hours per day on weekdays and 5 hours per day on weekends. However, Time Limits is a premium feature and is only available with TP-Link Home Shield Pro, which requires a paid subscription. If you have a Home Shield Pro, you can enable this feature to manage your child's daily screen time effectively. The offline feature allows you to schedule internet blocks at specific times of the day, such as during study hours or family time. However, this feature is only available with TP-Link Home Shield Pro, which requires a paid subscription. So, if you need access to time limits and off time, you'll need to upgrade to Home Shield Pro. 
Otherwise, you can still use the blocked websites, web filter and bedtime features for free to set up basic parental controls. Now that you have configured all the parental control settings, your child's internet usage will be automatically managed based on the rules you have set. To make sure everything is working properly, it's best to test your settings. Start by trying to access a blocked website on your child's device. Since we have blocked Facebook, let's check if it loads. As you can see, the site is completely blocked. Now, let's test another website that isn't restricted, such as Google Forms. As expected, it loads without any issues, confirming that only the blocked sites are being restricted. If everything works as expected, congratulations, you have successfully set up parental controls on your TP-Link router.